best party ever, how festival culture can change the world. So my name is Raquel, and I am pretty obsessed with music festivals. Um, and I think that the culture behind music festivals has the capacity to actually impact the world in a positive way. I'm talking specifically about transformational festivals. And these are immersive arts and music festivals. They value community involvement, environmental sustainability, social responsibility, and the goal is to have these life-changing experiences. Burning Man, as you guys are probably familiar. Woohoo! Anybody been to Burning Man? No? Cool. Um, me either. But <laughs> this is probably the most famous of these kinds of festivals. Um, but there are dozens, hundreds of them throughout the world. Lightning in a Bottle is another festival that is like this. I attended this festival last May. Um, it takes place in Central California, about halfway between LA and San Francisco. And it kind of like blew my mind. <laughs> so I'm going to share some things that I've learned from festivals with you guys tonight. I know you're thinking like, there's this like random chick, she like goes to a festival, probably like gets stoned around a campfire and like wants to change the world. And yeah, I mean basically. So <laughs> here's what I've learned. Real life is better than the internet. So transformational festivals are held in these beautiful natural settings. This is actually from Lightning in a Bottle. It was in the fields, it was gorgeous. The idea is that when you're removed from your normal distractions from life, no cell reception or very poor cell reception, there's no, nothing around you for miles and miles, you're more inclined to have these intimate and really engaged communications, interactions with people around you. So look at this photo. Notice anything weird? There's no cell phones in this picture at all. If you've been to a concert with millennials in the last five years, you know how rare of a sight this is. This is, everybody is actually experiencing this moment together. They're there, they're present, they're not trying to text. Next thing, go down the rabbit hole. Um, this is not a psychedelic reference. Um, this is actually <laughs> more about committing to the moment. So saying yes to new adventures, saying like, all right, when in Rome, I'm just, I'm gonna do it. So say yes to new adventures, try something new. Um, I took a break dancing class and did something called a sound bath immersion. Um, <laughs> that's cute for you hecklers, no. Um, <laughs> so the idea of like adventures and curiosity and trying new things is absolutely ingrained in this transformational festival culture. It's the norm, it's not the exception to the rule. Um, this is actually a piece of art that was there that was pretty cool. Um, you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Now, I know this is difficult, like at festivals in particular, it can be like really stressful trying to make it to every set or get to every stage or see everything, but like you try to do that and you're gonna lose your mind. Life is very much the same way, of course. You get afraid that people are having better experiences than you, more fun than you, are more successful than you, and we just gotta get that like out of our minds. So fear, and <laughs> fear of missing out in particular, um, is just, it's a terrible thing. Or, as my friend sent me this meme, shout out to Rachel. <laughs> Fear is the cock blocker of dreams. So, that's that. <laughs> Another valuable life lesson, you are not as weird as you think you are, <laughs> so just do you. Um, seriously, you are not the weirdest person here. Go to a festival, you will see crazy people. And there's something really freeing about that, because you can just be yourself. Like, look, giraffe guy over here, do with mohawk, and then what it looks to be Dwight Schrute from The Office, hanging out, they're not worried about what people think about them. This guy's like, I'm gonna wear my golf polo and my wire glasses, I'm cool. This guy's like, I'm gonna dress up like a giraffe. So, the biggest thing, play more. We're here tonight to have fun. Festivals are just an excuse to like, have more fun. So get out, you just don't think about things, you get away from your normal everyday life. You literally can go to a place called Fun with like disco balls and bubble machines in the middle of a forest and have a dance party with like your new friends. How many times have you had a random dance party with people you've not met before? Like, I'm, I'm raising my hand because I do this all the time, but like, does anybody, nobody? I can't really see. There's like a couple of you like like-minded people out there. Okay, cool. So. In summation, <laughs> festivals are really the best party ever, not because it's just a ton of fun and you can learn a lot, but the things that you learn there, the experiences that you have, have the capacity to not only change your life, but also influence those in the world and community around you. Thank you. Yeah.